Let us see a few miscellaneous normal mode commands. Control A increments the number under the cursor or it will try to search for a number to the right of the cursor. So let's see an example. If I press Control A, you can see it increments the number under the cursor. I'll press again. And now let me undo that. If there is no number under the cursor, but a number is present later in the line, then Control A will increment that number. So I'm going to press Control A. It should move the cursor to this location and increment it. So you can see it increments this number. To decrement a number, you can use Control X. So control X and do. Similarly, if a number is not under the cursor, it will try to search later in the line. So control X and do. You can use GEF to open a file using the path under the cursor. So for example, this is a particular file which exists in the current directory. So if I use GF, it should go to this file. So this is changing case.md GF. So you can see it goes to that particular file. Control G displays file information like file name, number of lines, and so on. So I'm going to press Control G. Let me, yeah. So I'm going to press Control G. So you can see the file name. How many lines are there in this file? What's the percentage of this particular line? And so on. If you use G followed by Control G, it displays information about the cursor. So cursor is here. I'm going to press G, Control G. So cursor was here, which is fourth column of 68 columns. This is line 12 of total 19 lines. And word count, byte count, and so on. GA shows Four point value of a character under the cursor. So if, if you want to see what's the code point value of G, you can use GA. So decimal, hexadecimal, and octal value. So let me try another character. GA. So question mark and corresponding code point values. Finally, G question mark. This applies rot 13 transformation to the characters defined by the motion. So if you want to apply rot 13 transformation on this particular word, you can use G question mark and I can use text object selection IW. So you can see it changes that word based on rot 13 transformation and if i apply g question mark e it changes back that word 